Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the five things I wish I'd have known before I started 3D printing props. Start. Hey guys, what's up? So I've been doing this um, not for very long, actually. Uh, since September of last year is when I started the channel and I really didn't start into um, 3D printed pops until about Halloween-ish of last year. Um, and so in that time frame to today, there's some things that I wish I'd have known, things that I've learned um, along the way, and here's what they are. All right, first one, it's just harder than it looks. Um, yes, you print, you get the file, you print, you scale and all that. But it's harder than it looks, uh, especially people have a CR10. The bed leveling, um, the parts breaking down, the Bowden tube, all those things. Holy crap, boy! You got to learn your machine. Um, so it's a lot. It's a lot harder than you think. Um, having an engineering degree helps, but man, it's it's harder than it looks. Um, also, scaling. I can't begin to tell you guys how many times. I've missed scaled a helmet or a chest piece or a thigh piece and then poof a hundred hours gone filament gone just like that and man it sucks um, so it's harder than it looks it, it's really not that easy two your prints will fail a lot just face it um, I've had fail after fail after fail where you didn't set your z-hop it took out all the supports and then poof it's printing in midair um, you forget to put you, you forget to, to change your filament out um, power outages Jesus uh, printer malfunction um, all of a sudden your your hot end will take a shit your thermistor man I can tell you how many times I've replaced a thermistor on my machines so your prints are gonna fail um, be prepared for that it's gonna fail a lot Three, you get what you pay for when it comes to files. Um, there's a lot of free ones. I have free ones. Uh, but free isn't always better. It's free. It, you get what you pay for. Now, there are companies out there that, um, that overcharge. Now, if you're in a 3D printed um, armor and Facebook group, uh, Facebook and Prop Facebook group, you know, some people overcharge for their shit highly and they're not that good of files so it's a matter of time until you figure out who has good files and who doesn't now my files aren't perfect either a lot of them need to be fixed uh, like the car and the betrayer files um, who else I know my free Iron Man MK3 helmet has like this thing in the lip that needs to be fixed so my files aren't perfect either but I'm not gonna charge you $300 and not have my prices on my website either Four, there's more to this after you print it. Now, I'm sure you can print it a 0.1 millimeter layer height and it looks great, and then you paint it and then it looks fine. But for some of us, we really want to get that nice gloss, that nice shine. You know, some of us buy, you know, XTC 3D, uh, the fiberglass resin, and all that other stuff. Um, Alex Flex for all your, your, your flexible stuff. Um, but there's a lot more to it after you print it. There, there's the painting also, and then there's the sanding. You sand, and you sand, and you dye, and you sand, and you sand again. So basically that's, <laughs> that's what you do. And there, there's just more to it. After you print it, you're not done. You, you're fucking far from it. <laughs> and lastly, it is so so worth it there's a certain satisfaction that you get when you see like that gloss like that's just that beautiful piece of art that you made right and it's just it's hard to explain for those of you who have done it and for those of you who have made it um, whether it be an Iron Man helmet you know the Venom mask or it, it doesn't matter there's a certain satisfaction after you put the lights and you put it on it's hard to describe but it's so damn worth it it's just it just is 
and so I I really really wish you guys can experience that and that's why I give you guys free files the free tutorials because it really is an amazing amazing thing and that's it for this video guys I appreciate it if you guys want to follow us go to our Facebook group at 3d printed armor and weapon props um, also if you guys want free files or tutorials or anything like that follow my um, my tutorials here on YouTube and I have free files uh, on my website down below and if you guys want to see me on my personal life follow me on my Instagram at Nico.Industries I post non 3d printed related stuff there just to hang out with me see me at the gym shit like that all right I'll catch you guys later peace